in this problem we'll calculate the average force that a ball will impart to the to a wall so ball whose mass is 2 kilogram is moving with 10 meter per second and it hits a wall and bounces back and it bounces back with a velocity of 8 meter per second and the ball is in contact with the wall for about 20 millisecond 20 millisecond that's the time of contact from this information we need to find out what is the change in the momentum of the ball and how much force the ball imparts to the wall and how much force the wall imparts to the ball that's all we will be calculating in this numerical problem and we'll be using the impulse momentum theorem for this in this problem so let's start it, this one so we have the given mass of the ball is 2 kilogram and the v1 that means the the velocity with which the ball is approaching towards the wall and v2 is now when the ball bounces back from the wall and the negative sign the negative sign is because the ball was initially moving in this direction we call this as a positive direction so anything that is moving in the opposite direction will have the negative sign that's what the negative sign means it is moving in the opposite direction after bouncing back the time of contact is 20 millisecond and now we're changing 20 millisecond to second so one millisecond is one over thousand or one times 10 to the negative three second that's how we change millisecond to second first let's find out the change in momentum as the name suggests the change means final momentum minus initial momentum so this is the final momentum and this is the initial momentum and when i say the final momentum that means after it bounces back off the wall so how do you calculate the momentum of this ball it should be m times v2 and the momentum here should be m times v1 so m times v2 minus m times v1 the mass is given to and the velocity is negative 8 okay we have to include the negative sign here and minus 2 times 10 so the change in momentum is minus 36 kilogram meter per second okay that's the change in momentum of the ball the negative sign simply tells you that the final momentum is smaller than the initial momentum or the direction is along the negative x-axis now let's calculate the average force if you recall the Newton second law of motion what is the Newton second law of motion tell you the Newton second law of motion tells you the the force acting on an object or the average force is the change in momentum divided by the change in time Okay, this is change in momentum. Change in momentum. And this is the time. We have calculated the delta P. The delta P is minus 36. So that is minus 36. And the time is given right here. 20 millisecond or 20 times 10 to the negative 3 second. So 20 times to the negative three second and the force is now 1800 newton force the negative 1800 newton what is the negative sign again means the negative sign simply tells you that the that the force is by the wall onto the ball that's the negative sign means and by newton's third law of motion the ball also imparts force onto the wall so and the this force is exactly equal in opposite so the force onto the wall is 1800 newton 
and which is the negative of the average force okay this force so the net positives means the force onto the wall and the negative force means is the force onto the ball both exactly mean the same thing it's ha it has to be equal in magnitude just by the newton's third law of motion and now let me talk a little bit about why does the ball bounce back so let's say this is the ball here and the ball is moving with velocity v1 and this is after the bouncing back so when it contacts the wall there's a compression onto the ball whenever there's a compression it just behaves like an elastic ball or in other words there is a store elastic potential energy into the ball because of this compression there's a compression so if there is a, a compression that means there is a stored potential energy and the stored potential energy will now change into the kinetic energy and the kinetic energy happens when it is starts coming out of the wall or moves starts into the opposite direction so this is how the, um, the change in internal energy or change from kinetic energy to potential energy again potential energy to kinetic energy so this all in embedded in there so think about this one one more time by yourself and again if you have any questions any confusion do not hesitate to contact me okay so this is it for from this video again do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much